Have you got those green every flavour beans? Ha, <laughs> nice work. The password for the portrait is Wanglewort. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. At least in here you'll be safe. Well done, you've got enough blue every flavour beans. Mmm, blueberry pie, my favourite. Thanks Harry. The password for the ground's portrait is Cat Weasel. Watch out for Snape Harry, he shows up when you least expect him. Weasel. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. I guess I'll have to open up for you now. Albus Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore, currently headmaster at Hogwarts, considered by many the greatest wizard of modern times. Professor Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945. 
for the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood and his work on alchemy with his partner Nicholas Flannel. Professor Dumbledore enjoys chamber music and ten-pin bowling. to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavour beans? Chilli powder flavour. Hot as blazes. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the Transfiguration lesson. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Aviforce. Get ready.
That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Very well, let's keep going. Oh dear. That was good. Oh dear. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the class. Meanwhile, the House Point Owl glasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Ugh. <laughs> 
this chamber party popper? I've got your parcel popper. Want it back, do we? Let's have a chase through the attic then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go then. Avifords! We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus, just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter. doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back! Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful.
Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time! Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans, can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me.
Well, we are in trouble now, aren't we? Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. 
He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! You distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. boys.
<laughs> Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chap I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind, I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again Gryffindor's team seeker. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! Potter's moving in for the kill! Here comes a bludger! Ah! Potter's gaining! Wonderful! Potter's gaining!
I've got some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, when there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. We need three peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, we are closed today. Sorry. Gone on holiday. Back next week. Harry Potter, yes? I understand you seek an eagle owl feather. For three sickles, I will allow you to go out to the back and fetch one for yourself. Hmm, no sickle coins, eh? Try Gringotts the Goblin Bank. Gone to Paris for which which fashion show? We apologize to our customers for temporary closure. We are trying to locate our disappearing ink. Ah, Mr. Potter. Nice to see you again. I remember your wand. A very rare combination indeed. Hagrid informs me that you need peacock feathers. Well, three peacock feathers cost three canuts. Ah, I see you're low on funds. Come back to see me after you've been to Gringotts Bank.
closed due to family illness. Harry Potter, stay well away from here. That is Nocturne Alley. The shops down there deal only in the dark arts. Now run along before I turn you into a vole. Like to be a vole, would ya? Now run along. Maybe I'll turn you into a turnip and then eat ya for my tea. <laughs> 